All right, you guys, this has to be super quick. I'm gonna do a walk around because I'm gonna go away on a fire sign for 14 days. And here it is like May 24th, I think. May 24th, an apricot, a peach. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna hold on. I don't see any sign of curl. I'm going away for two weeks to the border of Texas to fight, not fight forest fires, but um, here we have a pair, beautiful. Uh, what is this? Contender? No. Oh, moon glow. Look at that moon glow pair. Hopefully it's getting pollinated. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not messing with it. Almond. Nikita's pride, I think. Artichoke coming up. A pear tree, no blooms on it. Made my first YouTube video with this pear. I didn't know what I was doing. YouTube or pruning, but the deer sure helped kept it, keep it small. Another pair, Com or not a Comis, that's the Comis pair, I think. There's a Cosmic Crisp. Cosmic Crisp, rhubarb. Uh, this is a um, red fleshed apple, what's his name? Almada. Tiny. Might have a couple fruit spurs on it. Macintosh. Spartan is just loaded. Loaded. I'm doing this. Uh, my, the name of my channel is Two Birds with One Stone. So the two birds are... Um, I want to... What do I want for the two birds? What are the two birds? Loquat. Columnar apple. Here's a fig. Pestelier. Casita. Hopefully we can fill that with an abuela pata. Abuela Ginny. Somebody. Fig here. Um, Stella, that's what that is. The olives, boy, I think Nikita's Jubilee suffered, suffered. It's been a record breaking cool spring. Um, Arbor Cane, Arbor Cane, olive, Desert King. It's got some Breba forming. Desert King there. Romero. Got the peas in, the garlic, strawberries. Over here, the um, raspberry shortcake. Huge artichoke next to the modest Cortland apple. That's gonna be a step over. Gosh, I don't even, it's an unknown apple. Raspberries. Couple more apples, it's gonna be step overs. Strawberry row, planted with uh, onions. Here's some walla wallas with um, spinach. And there's some zanahoria, carrots. Uh, new to us this year, a bush cherry. What is this? This is a crimson passion bush cherry. Cherries do really well in this area, but just so happens the deer love them. That's a um, Costco bare root that just really struggled last year. The deer have really done a number on these. Hopefully no deer intrusion, but this year they're looking pretty good actually. Nice little shape, but no, no flowers. It's just suffered too much. Another cherry. Blueberries, let's take a look real quick. There's Coco, Coco's outside. Coco. Kiki 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 Hector Hector Kiki kiki mm. All right rhubarb's doing good Another fig there Ooh Atriano maybe Blueberry Blueberry That's the uh, pink popcorn or something in pink pink But it's uh not too many flowers on it this year A few 
two dead outs. A new mail order blueberry. Gruer. So that is a, um, it's not Southern High Bush. It is a, what are those called? Same as this one. Oof, I forget. Here's the beautiful blueberry just loaded with potential flowers there. Mini blue loaded. Blueberries, blueberries. Plum trees, we'll get to those in a sec. Blueberries. These guys actually have open flowers already. Blueberries. Finish those off over there. I think there's 16 plants. Look at this. Let's see. <laughs> this is poor Bioja. Bioja. Pineapple guava. Just suffering. I don't know. We'll see. For buds. Who knew? Tea. Uh, black tea and green tea are made from the same plant, and here it is. Camila. Camila. Senesis, I think it's how yeah, is it? Yeah, Camellia Senesis. I don't know. Pioja. This one looks a little better than that one. This actually had one fruit on it last year that froze. The plums. The superior plum is looking superior this year. This is a pluot of some sort, Home Depot unknown pluot. There's a beautiful grafted tree. This is a uh, Santa Rosa with, um, oh, a bubble gum, toka. And then grafted on this year, a Shiro. Plum. Asparagus has been harvested. Hopefully Maya keeps going at those. Greenhouse, let's take a look. Got tomatoes in. It's way too early, but doing it. Time to harvest some cilantro. Parajil. Cilantro and parsley. These guys are doing great. They are um, mandarins. That's an Awari Satsuma. And then this guy, what's your name, guy? I can't remember. Another kind of Satsuma. Mandarin. Some starts. Raspberries aren't going to do much this year. I've been neglecting them on purpose. It's all going to be a beautiful deck with a beautiful pool. Oh, God. Here we have a uh, kiwi, male kiwi, doing good. Another male. And then this guy, I mean this gal. It's looking beautiful. This is for me. Italian plum hasn't flowered yet, but it's getting close. I bet it's going to be a good year. Plenty of those for prunes, for wine. Some grafts over here. Um, those are shiro, I believe. Shiro or toka, I'm not sure. Italian. This hive is booming. One, two, three. This box I put on there has a bunch of honey in it from the dead outs. Uh, I gave them some oxalic acid, three treatments. Probably not quite close enough together, but I think six, seven days apart. I saw mites on some drone brood. These guys are good. This guy is all done flowering, Hollywood plum. And now we're looking for fruit set. And I've noticed that some are, some wanna stay on, you know? So I think it's gonna have a good fruit set this year. Yeah, I can kind of feel some, some come off. Some stay on though. Huh. It's always nerve wracking. See how many are fertilized, pollinized. Uh, new cherry, because I have trouble with cherry because of the D. 
deer. So is it lapin, I think? Yep, lapin. Gonna have to get some spreaders on that. Look at this, I can probably just go like that. I wanted to get probably like, not too big, but bigger. This is a Costco. This is an update on the, I made a little video about the roots. It was, they were just tiny, horrible roots. Seems to be budding out all right. So far so good. I've used a lot of it for scion wood too, which is good. This guy actually has some flowers on it this year. This is the toka bubblegum, but it's still got another year, I think, before it really, maybe next year, some fruit. Beauty. Oh, it's a beauty, not a toka. Huh. Where the hell's the toka? Oh, Papa. I give it a scratch test. It's green. It's got lots of uh, mulch. I'm gonna try to keep it moist this summer. Its friend died, just cold. And uh, I think I actually, the friend died because it was too dry, I think. I think this one's gonna butt out. Let's go to the green hut. Ooh, here's a persimmon, new member of the family. This is a, some sort of a chocolate persimmon or a, Let's give it a little scratch test there. Yeah, it's green. It's just... This is a Stark Brothers, I think. Burnt Ridge. So this is a Nishimura Wasi. Could be all right. I actually took some graphs off that. Let's go to that other persimmon real quick. I had one persimmon die last year. It's hard to get him to take, I think. This guy I'm just spreading out like crazy. So it's got a couple graphs on it. It's all take. But I'm really using some twine down here. He's got there and it's being pulled Let's see if I can get some structure on it this is not a Fuyu this is a um, Saijo I think Saijo yeah man this, it's been slow to take off but you know what I'm starting to feel it like you feel down here it just feels a little better it feels pretty rooted I'm going to clean up around put some mulch on but anyway let's drop bail it's going to be all ready to plant when I come back alright last but not least we'll get inside this greenhouse you know my mom said this greenhouse was ugly and it is I'm not going to lie but it's beautiful. Strawberries, God, look at them. They're just going for it. Oh, some fig cuttings. Hopefully some of those take, some, some of them had rooting on, roots on them. Banana suffering like hell. We'll see. I don't think so. More strawberries, peach, nectar, uh, nectarine. Um, Super healthy, but it, I, it lost all its flowers, of course, first year. A couple might have stayed on, but we'll see. Rain Tree Nursery had a huge root ball. And that was actually um, from One Green World. And it had a huge root ball, too. Beautiful tree. I think they're both from Dave Wilson Nursery, originally. Or, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway. Just flowering out the figs. This is in Atriano, maybe. And that's an Olympian over here. It's, Olympian's a little slower to leaf out, but it's getting there. The light's no good in here. It's going to have some Brava on it. And some fig cuttings. Gooseberry cuttings, but they're not going to make it, I don't think. Rosemary cuttings, and they're not going to make it either, I don't think. 
uh, just harvested, harvested arugula, tons of grafts, passion fruit, kiwi, mail order. Um, this is the Izai, which is a self fertile variety. And I just, I don't know, I'm hopefully it'll be fine. It really had a die back because of the mail. It was, Meyer lemon. Falcon. This dragon, flying dragon. That's uh, Rula. Another persimmon. <laughs> it was outside, but put it in the pot. That's Nikita's pride. A couple of pawpaws. That, I believe, is. God, I should have labeled that. It's a peach. North Pole, a columnar apple, another columnar apple. Unknown variety, but there it is. Car, car. Uh, delicious edible tiny oranges. Eat the uh, skin. Kumquat. And that is a tangelo of sorts. Anyway, I'm doing this for myself, walking through. It's a great space. It's ugly, but it's so beautiful. All right, dead cactus. Comfrey's going off. There's Bronca and the gals. Peach that's been grafted like crazy. These are all uh, up the street graphs that hopefully will take. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna take now. Might. I don't think it's gonna. Not that one anyway. We'll see. Peonies. Another peach. Let's see if that lives. Kiwis. This is the fire uh, herb uh, first line by lemon. Is a pomegranate palm wonderful. Sudachi, all kinds of new growth. Alright, thanks for watching.